There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again Top 10 robots that have taken over agriculture and farming Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama You knew this was happening I don't even know why there's been this massive debate Because this has been happening. The food industry is being revolutionized by robotics and automation. We're going to focus here on the applications in the agricultural industry. After all, farming is the beginning of the whole food journey. Automated agriculture is going from strength to strength. According to a recent report, the market for agricultural robots, drones, is expected to reach $35 billion within the next five years. Make that four years. There are real problems in modern agriculture. Traditional farming methods struggle to keep up with the efficiencies required by the market. Farmers in developed countries are suffering from a lack of workforce. The rise of automated farming is an attempt to solve these problems by using robotics and advanced sensing and AI. So here are the top 10 robots that are taking over farming. Number one, nursery planting. Nurseries are where seeds are grown into young plants, which are later planted outside. Nursery plants are often sold directly to consumers and landscape gardeners, but they are also the start of the food journey for some crops. There is a rising need for nursery automation. Companies like Hito, H-E-T-O, Agrotechnics, and Harvest Automation provide automation solutions for seeding, potting, and warehousing living plants in greenhouses. Number two, crop seeding. Many food plants begin life as seeds in a field. The traditional method for sowing seeds is to scatter them using broadcast spreader attached to a tractor. This throws many seeds around the field while the tractor drives at a steady pace. It is not very efficient method of planting as it can waste seeds. Autonomous precision seeding combines robotics with Geo mapping. A map is generated which shows the soil properties at every point in the field. The tractor with robotic seeing attachment then places the seeds at precise locations and depths so that each has the best chance of growing. Number three, crop monitoring and analysis. Monitoring huge fields of crop is a big job. New sensor and geo mapping technologies allowing farmers to get a much higher level of data about their crops than they have in the past. Ground robots and drones provide a way to collect this data autonomously. Drone companies such as Precision, Hawk, offer farmer combined packages with included robotic hardware and analysis software. The farmer can then move the drone to the field, initiate the software via a tablet or smartphone, and view the collected crop data in real time. Ground-based robots like Bonnie Rob provide even more detailed monitoring as they are able to get closer to the crops. Some can also be used for other tasks like weeding and fertilizing. Number four, fertilizing and irrigation. Irrigating and fertilizing crops has traditionally used a lot of water in quite inefficient ways. Robot assist precision irrigation can reduce wasted water by targeting specific plants. Ground robot and autonomously, autonomously navigate between rows of crops and pour water directly on the base of each plant. Robots also have an advantage as they are able to access areas where other mechanics cannot. For example, corn growers face a problem that the plants grow too quickly and reliably fertilize them. Robot aims to solve this problem as it is easily drives between the rows of corn 
and target nitrogen fertilizer directly to the base of each plant. That is Robot, R-O-W-B-O-T. Number five, crop weeding and spraying. Spraying pesticides and weed killers onto fields is not only wasteful, it can severely harm the environment. Robots provide a much more efficient method. The concept of micro spraying could significantly reduce the amount of herbicide used in the crop growing. Micro spraying robots use computer vision technology to detect weeds and then spray a targeted drop of herbicide onto them. AGBot2 is a solar powered robot which uses this technique. Some weeding robots don't even need to use chemicals. Robot Crop, for example, uses computer vision to detect plants as it is pushed by a tractor. It then automatically hoses the spaces between plants to uproot the weeds. Other weeding robots use lasers to kill the weeds. Talk about futuristic. Number six, thinning and pruning. Thinning involves reducing the density of plants so that each has a better chance of growing. Pruning involves cutting back parts of plants to improve their growth. The lattice bot thinning robot received an award this year for outstanding product innovation in agriculture. It uses computer vision to detect lettuce plants as it drives over them and decides in that moment which plants need to keep and which to remove. Pruning is a complex job, and the most notable attempts to automate it have come in the wine industry. Wall Yi, kind of like Wall E, is an autonomous vineyard robot able to prune grapevines. The company has also developed a blueberry pruning plant. I'm sorry, pruning robot. Number seven, autonomous tractors. Several other robots I've mentioned are attachments to a tractor. As humans usually drive the tractors, the robot is designed to adapt to the speed that the human is driving. However, full autonomous tractors are also becoming popular. The ID Tech X agricultural robots report found that more than 300,000 tractors with autonomous main functionality were sold in 2016. There is also a rising trend for follow the leader autonomy where tractors autonomously follow human-driven combine harvesters to collect the grain. Number eight, picking and harvesting. Harvesting crops such as corn, barley, and wheat is quite simple. It can be done in a combine harvester, which can be automated just like a tractor. However, other crops like soft fruits are more difficult to harvest as they require manual dexterity. The EU-funded Clever Robots for Crops project is making progress on a few harvesting applications, including apple harvesting, grape picking, and sweet pepper picking. Number nine, shepherding and herding. Although most agricultural robots are currently applied to crops growing, there have been a few emergent applications within sheep and cattle farming. Farmers in both New Zealand and Ireland have been seen using drones to round up their sheep after long, difficult terrain. Various examples of remote control, cattle hurling drones can also be found on YouTube. This could be a lower cost alternative to the expensive helicopters with Australian ranchers used currently. And number 10, you knew it, milking. Finally, we have a great development using collaborative robots to help in the milking process on dairy farms. This case study by Universal Robots shows that a UR5 can be used to spray disinfectant on the cow's udders in preparation for milking. It seems certain that robots will continue to revolutionize agriculture and change the way that we think about producing food. This is being named the third agricultural revolution. Please leave a like. Are you ready for the robots to take over? And as these robots take over in agriculture, we will not need human beings, period. So any sort of harvesters or people who are, who are seasonal harvesting or seasonal workers will not be needed at all because this automation is going to continue from the beginning to the harvest of plant growth in the food industry. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. This is the Shakama Live Show.